Hey guys, you already know, it's Kazmataz, or call me Kaz. Hope you guys are doing well today, and if not, hopefully it can bring you good spirit and good vibes. Today's video is going to be a Walmart story time. So if you guys haven't seen part one, I suggest you guys go check it out. I'll leave it in the cards up here. And I do plan on making this a series, so if you want to hear the whole Walmart experience from me, then stay tuned. I should probably grab something to drink. Grab you a snack. I got some crackers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat and talk at the same time, but you guys should always watch and eat. But, um, basically, to start off, I would come in after school. I think my shift was 5 30 to 10. And then on the weekdays, it'd be like a longer shift. I wasn't sure. I remember being one to 10 for the longest, but I think when I first started, it was a different shift, like 11 to four or something like that. But anyways, you know, you go through the, through the front doors, you come in, come to the back, and there's the personnel room. And I do actually have a list here of names that I have that are, for people that were there. So, if you see, see me looking down, then that's why. But, um, like I said, we go to the back, go to the personnel room. There was a lady there, her name was Reese, she's the personnel lady, and she'd help with anything, you know, personal reasons or anything that's work related, she was there. So I was there for about a good two weeks before I was allowed to go on the floor. But before that, you know, I was in the back and doing the, what you call pathways. And pathways was basically your training and you'd get that extra dollar once you finished it. So it was kind of like important. And I remember being back there and I hated it because you know and you, you're sitting on a screen all day for your shift and not to no, not even just sitting there on a screen and doing something you don't want to do it's freezing cold back there and we did have a dress code so it was like really hard for me to find something to wear that matched the dress code but I finally did find something I'll probably put a picture I finally did find something that was the same color blue as the blue we had to wear because our dress code was like khaki pants and a button up top like colored shirt you know like uniforms um it had to be like white blue I think those were the two main colors I hated it because that was when I was like coming into and like knowing my love for fashion so I hated that we had to wear that to work like really come on but now I think, I think it's a little bit more lenient. It got more lenient once, you know, time progressed. But obviously, first starting off, you have to follow dress code. Um, and then I remember I would wear these shoes and they were called creepers. They're like this really weighted shoe and they're really tall because, you know, I wanted to have some extra height then. And I'd get teased for that, which, I mean, who wears like these heavy weighted shoes to work? I did. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that was the whole thing, getting teased for that, too. But anyways, um, then I finally got to go on the floor after about a week or two. 
hanging out back there, which it wasn't always all bad. I did meet a couple people there, which I will get into in another story time. And that made work so much more better. But the whole reason for this story time today was an experience I had going onto the floor for the first time. So you have two different sides to the store. So you have your grocery side, which is like your deli food, your grocery food, which is like the frozen, the dry food, the refrigerated food. Um, and then you have your home side, which is like the home, like the kitchen, the pet department, the toy department, the electronics, lawn and garden, um, hardware. Hopefully I'm not missing anything, but yeah, that whole side has a lot of things. And then grocery is a little bit more simple because there's a lot more that I guess you can say goes into it because it's like all about food and keeping things like where they're supposed to, well both sides you have to keep things where they're supposed to go but most people do shop for groceries when they go to walmart more than home um oh yeah then i did forget hba because i ended up working there too later on but yeah hba which is like you guys are gonna know what hba is hba is like your personal products medicines and things like that pharmacy all that but anyways besides that <laughs> Um, I was in home department and there was two managers on that side. One was named, I called Lisa, and then the other one was Kim. And then Reese, the personnel lady, told me to go to Miranda pretty much every day to scope out like what I was supposed to do, you know? Like she would come in way before me she was really good with that department. She had been working in that department for I don't know how long, but she was just really well with that department. So she's like, yeah, go to her and find out what you're supposed to do because she would already have done the task she's supposed to do so she could tell us what we were supposed to do. Me and one of another good friends of mine that I met there, we'd go to her every day. And um, anyways, I was on that floor that day and I was looking for Miranda and Wait, no, not Miranda. Oh my gosh, see? This is what happens when you have names for people. Bren. I was looking for Bren. So this whole time I've been looking for Bren. And um, like I said, she's the one that is really good with the department. And I'm supposed to go to her every day to find out what I'm supposed to do. She's not a department manager, but she's really good at this side. So anyways, I'm looking for her. And... I can't find her but then once I get to where it was like what do you even call it it's like the home department where like the towels and things are and like you a little bit more further there's like the dishes and things like that anyways if you even know the store because I guess every store is different I'm like coming down that aisle which is a really big aisle because you have everything leading up into that point and I see the managers, um, Lisa and Kim, and they're just like dead eye staring at me. And like, just like, you can already tell, like, they're gonna have an attitude once they, you know, they've approached me. So, you know, I just go over there. And the, almost said her name. <laughs> and, uh, Kim is all like, you know, what do you think you're doing? and I was just like, oh, I'm um, I'm looking for Bram. And she's like, what do you mean you're looking for Bram? And I was like, Reese told me, you know, to go to her every day. That's what we have been doing, you know. If we ever get a chance on the floor, go to her, and she's gonna tell us what we're supposed to do because you know she's here before us and you know she can guide us. She's like. So you have no business going to her. She's not in charge. And I was just like, well, I was told that by Reese, you know, and that's seemed like it was okay with the other managers as well. So that's what I had been doing. And she's just like, well, you're, you're not supposed to be doing that. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know what you're doing. 
and just babbling away with this attitude like I'm doing something so blatantly wrong and I'm just like looking at them like okay and I mean I can only assume you know they know I'm a kid you know I'm a minor and I'm just this girl probably just lollygagging and not doing what I'm supposed to do but that's not what I was doing, you know? I was actually following direction. And um, I was really hurt by that. I mean, obviously, how many years later and I still remember that incident, you know? So I'm sure I went home and I was upset, probably cried about it because I'd never experienced anything like that. You know, all I experienced was high school, you know? Not really dealing with someone with an attitude, especially when that was like my first encounter with them because you you know I go to learn when people come in and they're new or like if they're managers or if they're associates or whatever they're supposed to introduce themselves and that's the first thing they're supposed to do before anything even if it's like an altercation you're still supposed to be like be like hi how are you my name is this what's your name blah, blah, blah. what department do you work in they didn't do any of that they just blatantly just came to me all rude with an attitude like I'm just like what is y'all's problem and obviously they may not be personally anything wrong with them but Walmart will do that to you you know now I'm finding out well not even now but I'm as years progressed I noticed that it's because of Walmart like everything they have us do they run us rabbit that's why they probably had such an attitude approaching me you know they could have went about it a different way because you know I'm just this little girl starting Walmart not doing anything really wrong just doing what I was told and that's how they came off and it put an impression on me because I end up not liking Lisa for the whole time I was working there after that incident because I mean obviously you know I kind of put it aside you know, I tend to be a kind of person where someone may hurt me, but then, you know, I'll forgive them and then, you know, they can clean slate. But time and time again, she proved me wrong not to basically be in, I guess, good graces with her because she had an issue with me. I don't know what it was, but it was not good to the day I left. But Kim she noticed that i was someone that worked really hard and you know i wasn't there just lollygagging and wasting time trying to make money you know i was actually doing what i was supposed to do and i was actually helping us you know so she was actually you know she ended up being pretty cool but she ended up leaving um a couple years into it but that was my first experience that i remember distinctly on the floor you know going on the floor for the one of probably the first times and that's how I got approached by a set of managers and it just was not good for me from there with that one manager specifically um but there's so many stories I have I just don't even know <laughs> where I'm gonna go next because it was an experience of almost four years for me so that was one that spoke out to me to tell a story about but anyways you know if you guys are liking these story times you know this is the second one then please like it and comment down below if you you know liked it and you want to know more like oh my gosh or you need some tips on starting a new job you know for the youngins out there that are starting a new job because I know it's crazy and it's tough I can help you get through it but that was it folks hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys later and stay tuned for more story times for walmart bye